My name's Jeb, and this is Jebcraft. Of course, by Jebcraft, I mean World of Warcraft classic. Time to start a new day. These apples look delicious. I got my action bars added. There was one more thing I forgot. War Stomp. I'm in a new village now. Oh. Bloodhoof Village. What brings you to my village, Druid? Word from my good friend, Chief Hawkwind. Ah, I can see his carvings. You are a special breed. Go. Winds be at your back. Be careful. Gotta find where my trainer is here. Uh, level six we will be training again. Travel. Walk with the Earth Mother. And looks like we're gonna have a bunch of quests to pick up. Trainer. What brings you here? Goodbye. More quests. Very exciting. The winds guide you. Winds be at your back. All right. The other thing I need, if I've got money, get me some professions. I think this is the profession building. So in addition to my character powers, you can learn how to do things like cook, make armor, craft weapons, and I'm going to need a skinning knife. That is actually, wow, that is expensive. I may not be able to afford the skinning uh, profession. I might have to go get money. What a shame. Cook, leather worker... There we go, Skinner. I think it costs a silver. Peace, friend. Ten copper. I'll take it. Let's take uh, leather well, working man. just for fun. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. So if I get some leather, I can make all these cool things. And uh, there's four types of armor. Cloth, leather, mail, and plate. And druids can wear leather and cloth. One more. Where to start? Hail. Be careful. My quests here are all rated by difficulty. If it's somewhat of a challenge, but a good idea, it'll be yellow. The orange ones would be an extreme challenge. Maybe not in the starter zones. It depends. And red would be not a good idea. 
Same as with the monsters, they're color-coded. Green means not a challenge, but you still get something. And let's start with... That's a good start. We'll track these. Goblins and their servants have tainted our sacred water wells. We cannot allow this. To cleanse each well, I must create a cleansing totem. Then you must bring the totem to the well and perform a cleansing ritual. First, we will create a cleansing totem for the Winter Hoof Water Well. To do this, the land must offer its aid. Hunt prairie wolves for their paws and adult plain striders for their talons. They are to the southwest. Return to me with the paws and talons, Drabruid. I can't remember if I skinned the last one. Most most beasts are skinnable. Uh, some many birds aren't. I think plain striders are though. And I can actually use my skinning skill to harvest leather from these animals. That seems very druidic. I kind of leave dead bodies lying around. That's good resources to be utilized. Plane striders and everything right here. If I cluster my spell casting together, it gives my mana a chance to regenerate. Right? Mana regenerates, I think, a few seconds after casting. I think it's six seconds. Doesn't matter, it's a few seconds after. So if you group all your casts together, like, I'm going to exhaust my mana and then fight with melee. Regeneration of health is dictated by the spirit stat. It's one of the most underrated stats by players. Of course, most classes don't have much use for it. Because your health only regenerates outside of combat. And then you could bandage or eat food, cast a healing spell, so what's the big deal? Why You don't need spirit for health regeneration. And mana re regeneration only occurs if you're not casting spells. Most classes that use spells, they'll do most of their damage with spells, so they don't want to stop casting spells to regenerate mana. They'd rather just drink. Oh boy. Okay. That was almost a walk to the graveyard. Is this guy coming for me? Okay, good. So now I'll eat and drink... But so for spirit, the thing with druids is you can cast all your spells and then let your mana regenerate. It's basically tailor-made for spirit. I don't, have the time I don't know if they're saying something about nature. Like here, my heal spell. This one, it's a heal over time. Ten seconds. So now my mana can regenerate while I'm being healed. 
you can see it ticking right here. And then when I need a big heal... I've got it. This creature is such a challenge because it's level 7 and I'm 5. Against all enemies, your greatest asset is skill. However, against computer enemies, the next most important is level. There's some kind of a equation that occurs based on your level and the monster's level. So even if your gear is not that good, you can do fine against creatures of the proper level. Against players, that plays less of an impact, and then your gear would be more important. But skill is always the most important. Always. We're here at a water well. Uh, we don't have the cleansing totem yet, so let's try to get that. I'll need thread and other things to uh, use this leather. I'm also going to get the cooking skill. I'm getting some meat here. Obviously all these skills are optional. You could level and be a very successful character. Um, it is traditional to mock players who have not gotten first aid uh, and try to hide it. They'll say things like, I'm out of bandages. Can't do first aid. But we know. They skipped it. Oh, we got a bag. Excellent. Loot. I haven't been checking for armor either. So most of this is... Vendorish stuff. Got a lot of animal parts, but this bag will help here. Well, let's make that bag for my fancy stuff. Hearthstone, skinning knife, water, food, and leather. All the stuff I'm going to vendor, I'll keep at the bottom. Then I have something to do while I'm mindlessly destroying nature. Or hunting, if that's what you call this. In order to pass through the rites of vision, you must gather the reagents needed to make the water of Sears. I will need well stones, which can be found near water wells in Mogor. With those, I will combine amber corn, which can fall beneath the mighty trees in our land. These reagents contain magical elements, and when brewed and consumed before the tribal fire, will cause you to encounter a vision. Stomp these guys. War stomp stuns up to five nearby enemies. Perfect for druid. You, you hop out, 
You war stomp. This might be the end. You hop out, you war stomp, and then you can get your heal off. I got it. Oh. It's game over. I shouldn't have tried to be reading quests. I can't resist, though. So when you die, you're not dead for real. You show up in a graveyard. If for some reason you can't retrieve your body, I have to go find my body and become alive again. You can talk to this lady, but you take a large penalty on your armor where you'll have to repair sooner. <clears throat> so while we're walking to our body, where was I? I think I was reading this one. These reagents contain magical elements! And when brewed and consumed before the tribal fire, will cause you to encounter a vision. Here's my body on the map. Follow it, and it will lead you to the next step of this holy quest. My house is dramatic. be a little more cautious here I guess the swoops are the hazard they have this long patrol radius so they're the most likely to be an ad so it was right to attack the swoop but I was too close to these uh, prairie wolves we learn from our mistakes that is the power of nature The swoop is a cunning bird, and difficult to find and hunt. A collection of swoop quills is a badge of cleverness and determination for a hunter. If you are willing to take up this task, then enter the plains and hunt the swoop. Bring me their quills, and bring honor to your clan. The swoops may be found anywhere in Mulgor, but your eyes must be sharp to spot them, and your hooves must be quick to catch them. So I need to get back to train. Uh, but I want to complete as many of these as I can before I return. I am going to run out of bag space, so that's probably when I'll go back. I start with Wrath because while it's casting and while the first one's traveling, the monster isn't aggroed. Right, so that buys me time. And then I get the Moonfire right before I'm... You know, it's Moonfire... Rejuve, and now my mana can recover. Many classes will have to eat and drink after one or two mobs. I'm completely ready to battle again. I just pay for that by not being quite as powerful. Of course, I haven't learned to harness the full power of nature. At about level 20 it'll get much different much more exciting
Okay, I need prairie wolves, plain striders, a cougar femur. Wow, we've got a lot of animals to kill. My grandfather told me stories about his battles with a strider named Mazarank. He told me of its demonic red eyes, razor-sharp talons, and venomous bite. As fortune would have it, while traveling across the plains, I encountered it, and it took a nasty bite from my shoulder. He was as terrible as my grandfather described. I will need some hard-to-find animal parts to clean the infection from his bite. A wolf heart, cougar femur, plain strider scale, and a swoop gizzard. Hurry. Time is of the essence. Knoll's doing. Tanner Skinner Poacher. Have to be a little more cautious here because we're fighting humanoids. Looks like Tanners are some kind of Shamanic caster, and he could run. Jabrud. There are many conflicts that wound this land. It is my hope that you will not bear witness to as many of them as I have. Yet there is one that I would ask you... ...ask you to seek out. It will give you some sense of how terrible, if left unchecked, even a small threat can be to the land. Pale main gnolls have settled to the south of Bloodhoof and in a cave to the west. They disrespect our attempts to communicate with them, and they slay the wildlife of Mulgore unbridled. Words are no longer the answer. Of course, humanoids drop money. Could also be the reason I'm killing him. And cloth. You can use cloth for tailing, tailoring, first aid, some recipes. I'll definitely be getting first aid just out of pride. Uh, you use it extremely little as a druid. You make bandages that can be used in combat, but I have my healing spells, and I usually have mana or other options. You also can make uh, anti-venoms, eventually, but I'll be able to cure poison too. So as long as I have mana and uh, have the required materials, I'm not going to have an issue with poison. I'm getting all tanners, though. The poachers may not be here. They may be in the cave. 
Yeah. There is a chest, though. Oh, we gotta get that. We're close to the village. It's tempting to just go train, too. Maybe get a better staff in there too. This is, this is preposterous. We got some pants. Anything? Ooh, healing potion. Perfect. If I have another emergency and I'm, and I'm out of mana, I can just use the healing potion. It's worth uh, avoiding a trip to the graveyard. Or from the graveyard, I should say. So he also has uh, some kind of healing spell. This is Druid on Druid Violence. Unacceptable. Prefer not to walk in there. Uh, I'm gonna aggro this this ad right here by walking in. See how much man I can t get to uh, recharge. It's not bad. It's real wasteful, but you can finish him off with Moonfire. Moonfire has a moderate amount of initial damage, and then there's a damage over time effect that does most of the damage. But if someone's running and you, you need to do some damage quick, you can just spam Moonfire. Alright, I think I'm gonna move on. Yeah, let's train work our way back to village because I have to go to a cave to get the poachers and I, these guys I know where they are if I need them I have my amber corns need another amber corn Two plane strider talons. Can't be wasteful here. Leather working is a skill you do for yourself. Uh, lots of. Let's just say. Market's a little saturated with leather. So if I have extra leather, I'm not going to be able to make money selling it. But I'm going to be able to make some of my own armor. I may have enough to make a few pieces. I've got some leather scraps and such. Alright, need one more plane strider. 
They don't always drop a good talon, though. It's a shame. See, so after leather working, uh, we'll start out combining these scraps to make light leather. If you wanted to maximize your investment, you wouldn't. It'll become more evident when I'm skilling up. These are all orange now. But some of them have higher cost than others. Like, this has no cost. This earns me leather from scraps. Here I can make an armor kit. It costs one light leather. But in here you've got this thick thread and, and more leather. It's still just going to get me one skill point. Here's my leather working skill, one of 75. So... Economically, it makes some sense to pay attention to the cost of the skill up and save a skill up like early. This will go gray quickly, and then I won't get any more leather skill from doing this task making light leather. So it'd be nice if I had 12 scraps, but I'm not gonna sweat it. You can get slowed down doing stuff perfect. Let's see if there's anything that can be easily completed before I come back to camp. I don't think these wells out here have well stones. I think it's the ones surrounded by goblins. I'll take a peek, though. Tarin, of course, using wind power. Very efficient. Yeah, no well stones. Peace, friend. Do you have the paws and talons, Jabruid? You have done well, Jabruid. I will take these and bind their power into a totem of cleansing. We shall meet again. Where's my cleansing totem? Do I have to the talk wings. to him? Guide you, ancestors. There it is. Over you. All right, I gotta cleanse the wells with this. Uh, let's go clear out this inventory and train. What brings you? I may need to sell first. Yeah, Maybe. that's where your money goes to train. Well, then. Farewell. Come on, we got a bread vendor or something? Eh, this guy sells mounts. Hail. Wow. 80 gold or 1,000 gold? Acquires level 40. That looks cool. It's a lot of money. The copper ore I could sell in Thunder Bluff. I'm not going to make a ton of money off copper ore. I vendored it. I admit it. Okay. This looks pretty good. We Can we get some money? Again. Two silver. Okay. This training session might take all my money. Ah, I've been expecting you. Walk with the Earth Mother. The Taran architecture is very... Uh... Tribal. I like it. How may I aid you? Ancestors, watch over you. When I skill up a, uh... When I skill up, I have to replace the icons on here. It's part of the fun. Thorns. Nice.
winter of water well here we come brave rockhorn you need thorns to do protect you too bad I can't skin it I have crafted the totem to cleanse the winter hoof water well now you must take it to the well and perform a cleansing ritual you will find it to the southeast guarded by foul goblins this will not be an easy task but you must do it if we are ever to use its waters again fortune to you Drabruid. Oh boy. Hmm. Let's see if we can just cut our way in here to the well. Pull him back away so there's less risk of him running for help. Makes you wonder about the Taran, though. They describe this as surrounded by foul goblins, right? It's maybe a little less than half goblins. Might be a little, uh... Anger against goblins amongst the Taran. I was going to remind you that World of Warcraft is rated T for teen. You do kill people in it, this poor girl just standing in the field, but she was an enemy of the Horde, so I guess it's okay. Um, I'm guessing that the... Uh, the Tron monster that runs YouTube is going to work out the rating system for me. Oops. Let's get back from this. Here you see I was dazed. If you get struck from the back by a mob, uh, you can become dazed. It slows you down. It still prevents you from just running through packs of mobs without penalty. Ragged leather belt. Is it upgrade yet? I forgot to do my leather working, so we'll definitely do that next time we're in town. And I need to pick up cooking. Right now there's the Halloween event, so you get these free apples in the end that boost your, uh, your stats. Let's try this. Can we do it? Be cleansed! Water well. Seems like the goblins are a bigger uh, issue than the cleansing, but... You know, that's pretty. Okay, and I got my well stones too. Let's get... Hmm. I hate to go back... Yeah. Alright, let's do some of this. We need swoops, and let's find this null cave. You see a cave on the map? Where did they say it was? Cave to the west. Okay, over here. Let's go. We'll just kill on the way. We can still get meat from the plane striders and experience. And leather. You can fight while walking. I can't believe that. See a cave to the west. Wow. 
startling. Uh, I do need several swoops, so there's one. See the Null Cave. Maybe, maybe over here. Obviously, I could look up where this Null Cave is. Um, I totally do it. Wow, Kodo. There's Nulls. It's the poachers that I need from the cave. Uh, stay out of there. You could look it up on a website and then you'd know. But it's fun to wander to. That's the thing about Warcraft. I see a cave now, up here. That's probably it. Now I have to travel this distance. I could sort through my stuff. Alright, these are gonna get vendored. Vendored. Got my cooking items at the top. Like, I could complain about how come I have to walk out to this cave, how boring. You know, isn't there like a cart or a teleporter that could take me there? But that's when you're looking forward to your task and planning things out. So, some would say it's a flaw of Warcraft. It was boring to have to walk across a field for a minute. Some would say it's an advantage because it gives you a chance to look forward to what you're going to do. See if I can cut through here. Ah. This this monster will will uh well this wolf. This mob will chase me until its aggro table clears. Then it'll forget my crimes against it. I don't know if it's a duration or if it's a point value. Some things cause very th little threat, like thorns. I'm sure the poachers are here. Hmm. Maybe they're inside the cave. Another chest, though. gonna be a run. to explore the cave to find the poachers. Hmm. Alright, let's see what happens. If I don't aggro more, I'll be okay. If I get any ads, I'm gonna have to run. Okay, 
Let's see if I can draw this guy away. Come here, buddy. Too bad I didn't pick up the cooking skill. I could use this fire, uh, cook some of this meat. All right. Let's work our way in. So he's talking about traveling between. Some could say it's a flaw because it's boring. Some could say it's uh, smart because it gives you a chance to take a break. The fact is it's a third thing. It's a devious trick for your mind. See, this is more exciting because I had to pause before it. it makes it more likely I'll become addicted to the game. Hmm. Where's the poachers? Is that a... Are they in the back of the cave? What is this? <laughs> Same thing, not being able to find the poachers. So when I do find them, I'll be happy. I'll get some... Pleasing brain chemicals. And it'll remind me, yes, play more Warcraft. Oh, boy. some mana. Get enough mana to finish this guy off at least. Huh. Is that a poacher? I can use technical tricks. No poachers in the immediate vicinity. I think they're back in the cave, though. I, I, I gotta explore it anyway. Right? It's the cave of mystery. There's a poacher. See? Now I'm happy. Because I was right. I was curious and I found what I wanted. And I honestly am happy. Uh, I don't know how that works. Oh my goodness. Here. We go. 
got a patrol. Get this guy to come back here. Yes, come back to this little cave. So there's your Moonfire spam, but it'd be much more costly in time and, and energy. Possibly run to the graveyard if that guy got loose. I'm tough enough to get this guy. <clears throat> That's the nice thing, nice thing, is I can be confident in my regenerative abilities. My mana's gonna get very high before I'm in trouble again. It's a water barrel. Exciting. Okay, aggro two. I think I can handle it, but I don't want to fight down by the patrols. So when I go to heal, I will, I'll need to war stomp to make sure I can pull it off. Mining can be lucrative, but I can't wear metal armor, so it's not for me. You could do engineering, get some cool dynamite and stuff. Uh, I am probably going to clear thoroughly, uh, because who knows what kind of patrols and such are back here. I am going to skip the water barrel. Alright, we get the water barrel. Just. I don't need that much water. Maybe it'll have milk in it. Nope. Mm. You can't ra uh, loot in combat. Okay. Okay, the poachers are ranged weapons. It's just what I need. <clears throat> Wonder if they run too. Of course, you level much faster in the early levels. Sixty's the highest you can go. Uh, when your experience bar, here's my experience, 57 out of 4,500. Ooh, what's that? Eight armor. Uh, I'll make some leather armor. It would be better than this stuff. This bar increases. Right now I need 4,500 experience to level up, and this will be, you know, whatever, 100,000 soon enough. I do need to pull this guy back. It's too it's too messy back there. So 
Surprise! I can't carry anymore. Get rid of the cracked eggshell so we can have another healing potion. These will get used uh, when I get into a tougher situation. Weapons usually have good vendor value. Well, you could look it up if you're a real lunatic. You could get mods. Uh, people get mods where it'll show you what the expected uh, the sale price of this is and if the auction house and all that. Don't plan on getting any mods. Maybe if I start raiding. Mods are cool, but every, there's a chance that your mod will be considered a cheat by Blizzard. That's one risk. Kind of like if you had a fishing mod, something that doesn't require you to click to pick up the fish. This is really ugly. Uh, yeah, we're going to end up using some healing potions here. I need to get this poacher killed. I think I can defeat those guys, but I don't want to fight them there in the open. We are getting repop behind us, okay. Wow, this cave is for real. Gotta try to finish this guy off before he can heal again. See, his heal over time is still ticking. Dangerous. And this is where we might be using first aid, but the thing is I can't use it while the guy's hitting me, too. Uh, I end up getting entangling roots. I can't use another healing potion for 40 seconds. So let's keep the Reju going. I forgot the repop is behind me. That was bad. Whew. Okay, potion number two. Oh man, I'm gonna aggro another one. Parry? Oh. Uh, the nice thing is I have all my poachers. Should have healed instead of that. Uh, timers are all down. All right. Ha <laughs> ha! We get this guy after all.
Wow, pale main rock. Worn leather vest. Oof. How's that look? That is looks about the same. Okay, we're gonna run out. Let's have some fun. This is where the fact that uh, many of them are ranged attackers will help me. I still might die here, but I can't resist. It's just fun to run out. I do gain aggro from the uh, rejuve healing. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Okay. Let's get back to town. Uh, if I can pick up four swoop quills on the way, I will, though. <clears throat> or if I see a cougar. There's a swoop. Uh, my bag's full, so we'll see. It's too far away. Yeah, let's get back and empty these bags. Get my skills com complete. How may I aid you? Our ancestors be praised. Jabruid. It is good you've taken my task seriously. Respect the land and its creatures is important. Death and life are a circle, a necessity. One cannot exist without the other. Take time to ponder this and do well to never forget it. And I get bullets. <laughs> That's my reward for sharing the land. Let's go clear some of this inventory and we'll talk to him again. <laughs> ah, I have just the thing for you. Oh, I got four silver. Okay. Uh, where's the cooking trainer? Peace, friend. I can teach you how to cook. One silver. I really want to cook. First aid can wait. Ancestors watch over you. If I have to. And let's get some skill ups here. Get some charred wolf meat. Look at this. Making food from the meat I gathered. I need to buy spices for the herb baked egg. 
but I think, yeah, you get two stamina and spirit if you sit down and eat it. That's what I'm talking about. Let's see how much these spices cost. Greetings. Ten copper. All right. Oh. Be careful. It's worth it. If I don't have enough money to train, you can mock me. Yeah, let's do the training, then we'll do leather. I don't want to run out of money, get embarrassed. Uh, I can sell this charred wolf meat. It, it doesn't give me a bonus. I'm going to keep the herb baked egg, though. been expecting you. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to train. I thought I hadn't done six. Walk That's awesome. Earth, mother. Let's get our leather going. So we'll start... I know that this will not give me skill up sooner, so we'll start with these. We'll turn these scraps into uh, light leather. And then let's see, what are we making here that we're going to wear? We have no cloak, so that's good. 21 armor bracers. 31 armor boots. Oh, this is going to be great. A vest with 45 armor, so that doesn't matter. Let's get four armor kits first. So as my leatherworking skill increases, I can buy new recipes. Uh, and then you'll start getting ones that actually will have stat bonuses on them. Plus, if I don't want to go to the auction house every couple levels and catch up my gear, uh, you'll fall behind and then your gear will slow you down. So it's fun to uh, see if hey. this guy train me anything. Get pants at 15 leather working. All right, Go that's our please. next goal. Need some thread. Looking for something special? These bracers are an upgrade, so we'll make these next. Boots are an upgrade. Go in peace. All right, let's see what this looks like. Got a little one of these cloaks goes down halfway. The boots, mm, not bad. I thought I made something else. Yeah, the bracers. And they kind of make your stuff match, too. It's fun. Uh, this armor kit I can apply to boots. It's still recharging. And pants. Some gloves. And chest armor. Greetings, Sell this stuff. Traveler. We got enough money to get first aid. Let's do it. Goodbye. And I think we got a couple quests to turn in. We'll wrap this baby up. You wish to speak? First aid. Eternal sun shine upon you. I think we'll read our quest turn-ins while we do that. We'll make 19 bandages in front of you. Well met. Wits be at your back. <clears throat> How? May the eternal sun shine upon you.
What brings you here? News of your deed reached me moments ago. Already the beasts near the well drink from it eagerly. You have done a great thing for the Langebruid. And you've done a great thing for the Tarin people. Wow. Can I go to Thunder Bluff now? May the eternal sun shine upon thee. Of course you receive experience for turning in quests and killing monsters. You get a little bit for discovering new areas. Hail. Once you have gav gathered enough well stones from around the water. Whew. From around the water wells and amber corn from beneath the trees. I will prepare the water of seers for you. I see who you have learned to gather from our sacred land, Jabruid. It will take but a moment for me to brew the water of the seers. I now present you with the water of the seers. When you are ready, consume the waters near the tribal fire. I think I'll do that next time. We shall meet again. A reminder here. Drink the water of the seers. Put bandages next to war stomp. When you're desperate, you can war stomp and get two ticks of a bandage. It's better than nothing. Alright, we'll get some apples in case Halloween passes. These are great. can hold five well thanks for watching don't forget you can click the link and get get details on the banner the Warcraft banner behind me